efforts to help Camillo play the music on his iPhone on his PC and wrote in with an excellent suggestion that Patrick's fallen in love with. He says, hey Patrick and Veronica, I was surprised that you didn't mention SharePod. I've been using it to play music from my iPhone, iPod Touch, and other iPods for a while, and best of all, it's completely free. You do need to have iTunes installed to provide the necessary iDevice drivers, but it's a tiny price for being able to play, transfer, and back up any media from your device. Love the show. Take care, guys. Sean. Hmm. Yeah, well, try as we might, we don't know everything, Sean. Uh, that's why we love having the TZ crew along for the ride. There's a lot of, there's a big knowledge base out there. Yes. A lot of knowledge. That's why we call in on you guys to Doing help us out. Tap into your brains. Mm -hmm. There'll be a little chip you can implant later on this year. <laughs> SharePod, if you haven't seen it, it's a free Windows application you can download from GetSharePod.com. Check this out. The window you're looking at is the contents of my iPhone inside of SharePod's main window. You right click on a song, hit play, and look, it's playing through the PC speakers. It's really a Swiss army knife of tools for working with the contents of your iPod or your iPhone. You will need to have Microsoft's .NET 2 framework installed before you run it. You can drag and drop to and from Explorer, like when you're searching for things. If you had a hard drive fail and you want to back your music off of your iPod, you can pull your music back off. You can add and review music videos and album art. You can copy music videos and playlists from your iPod to your Ooh. Windows machine. It lets you edit, drag and drop for playlists. Um, you can edit tags, even import music in your iTunes library, complete with your ratings and playlists. If you have a Mac formatted iPod, you're going to need Mac Drive. That's a tool that lets PCs read OS X's HFS Plus drives installed on your machine. And you might want to turn off iTunes Auto Launch. It'll drive you nuts otherwise because basically they both lock up. If you have like iTunes and SharePod running at the same time, iTunes seems to lock up. Oh. And, and if you try to launch SharePod when iTunes is already running, it tells you like, don't shut down iTunes first, please. <laughs> But, Such a pain. But if it works well, that's it great. It works really well. It's a nice, clean, it's a very crisp interface. It's clean, and it will play the songs just like it's in there. I don't know if you have to, I didn't have a chance to, to try it out on a machine that was not related to mm. my iPhone. Ah, I see what you so mean. So there may be a hitch there. But oh, I think if you have too iTunes much of a installed and, and you know your 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 Running iTunes the same. store password, you should yeah. be fine. Yeah, sounds good. And hey, if you use SharePod and want to help keep it evolving, make a PayPal donation, or better yet, become a SharePod community member for like ten bucks and get access to the SharePod forums and get some email help. <laughs>